What's going on guys? Welcome back to Bird Dog Gaming. Today we're going to be talking about my top 10 personal favorite games that I picked up in the year of 2023. This is going to be totally subjective based on the Bird Dog Gaming coolness factor, if you want to call it that. This is not necessarily going to be the top 10 rarest games that I added this year, or the top 10 most expensive games, although one of them is the most I've ever spent on a video game in my life. But before we dive right in, I want to shout out my channel members. You guys who donate $2 a month to this channel are absolutely incredible, and I can't thank you enough. I really appreciate the support. I really appreciate the community that we've built up, and even if you're not a channel member, I hope everybody will go and join the Discord. We have a really solid community of collectors and people just hanging out in there. It's always a great time. So without further ado, let's get started with number 10 here. We have a Japanese import for a game based on my favorite anime, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This one is Full Metal Alchemist, I believe it translates to Stray Rondo on the Game Boy Advance. Love this box art. It's got a nice clean box to it. Um, very CIB, very clean. This is a turn-based RPG that I probably will not be playing. I probably would not be able to understand it. Maybe there's a ROM hack out there, but um, I don't know. We'll see. This is a very cool one. I just, I don't know. It's cool to me. Definitely not top 10 rarest or most expensive I picked up this year, but I wanted to share it, throw it in at the number 10 slot here. Um, because I think it's cool and it's based on my favorite anime, so why not? But yeah, that one cost me I think about $15, nothing crazy there. And then we move on to number 9. You guys hear me talk about this franchise all the time these days. It's probably like a top 3 franchise for me now. I've played 11 or 12 games from the series. It's Castlevania. And this is one of the ones I have not played for sure. Um, I've played it a little bit, it's nothing great. But I got this for $70 from my boy Craig, who sold it to me this year. Really pretty copy. Um, yeah, it's Castlevania. There's skeletons riding motorcycles. I don't know what more to tell you. This is Castlevania from, I believe, 1999. Nice clean copy to upgrade my loose copy. And then we move on to number eight. I think I was like the only bidder on this one for some strange reason. Um, or maybe I just sniped it at the end or something. But this was a very nice clean copy of Croc on Game Boy Color. As much as I can't stand Croc on PlayStation, this game is actually not a terrible 2D platformer from the little bit I played of it. Um, I think this would be a good bedtime game for me on the old modded Game Boy Advance. But... This is a really clean copy. I paid about $38 for on an auction on eBay. Um, definitely not the most common Game Boy Color game. I guess everybody was buying their kids the Saturn and PlayStation versions. Um, definitely would not recommend that PlayStation game. I streamed it this year, not a fan. The tank controls are a no-no. Definitely recommend you keep an eye out for that one. About $38 for that one, and that was a steal. And we move on to one of my favorite Game Boy Advance games, one of everyone's favorite Game Boy Advance games. It's Metroid Fusion. Um, I only had a loose copy of this for a long time, and just look at that beautiful box art. I love that suit that she has on in this cover. Um, love the blue box art to match it, but yeah, pretty clean copy. I actually already had a loose cartridge, like I said, but this one cost me about $120 to get the box and manual and all the inserts and everything. So now I've got a nice crisp CIB copy for the shelf. Very happy to add that. Nothing rare, nothing crazy, but goes on that wall that's missing way too many important titles as it is. I've got all the rare stuff, not all the rare stuff, I've got a ton of rare stuff and I need to start picking up the slack on the key important titles. Now this wouldn't be a Bird Dog Gaming Top 10 pickups list without a little Rayman and if you saw my Rayman pickups from Belgium video, this is a European copy of Rayman on the Sega Saturn that I was able to purchase from a friend in the discord pyroclasm who hooked me up with um free shipping on this he was a really great guy for that but he helped me to acquire some things that i needed for my rayman collection and you got this giant case with the offset cd for whatever reason i don't know why you did it europe uh, this giant manual with like a hundred languages in it. It's so thick. Nothing crazy rare or crazy expensive. I paid like 40 or 50 bucks for this. 
really really nice you guys know I'm going for everything Rayman in the world you know whether it's a freaking stamp or it's a video game or it's a t-shirt whatever it is I want it um, so that one had to make the list and I think that one's pretty sweet believe it or not I still don't own the US Saturn release of, of uh, Rayman so I'm slacking there let's move into a game I crossed off one of my collecting goals with this game this year it is Castlevania Chronicles and I promise there's no more Castlevania on this list, so if you guys are sick of hearing about it, that's alright. We're almost through. Um, I think this was an auction. I ended up getting it for $104 after shipping and fees and everything. Um, very happy. It might have been a best offer, actually. I don't remember. But the only defect is the jewel case is cracked. Um, but the manual's in great shape. The disc, I played through the whole game on stream, so the disc is fine. Um, artwork looks good but yeah this is a really solid game very impressive for the time um, for those of you that don't know this is a uh, what is it x68000 game brought to the PlayStation and it also has like a, a, a range mode which is like a remake with better music and uh, graphics and whatnot and I think they made it a little easier I played the original mode it is tough let me tell you that's coming from someone that played Castlevania 3 that's a tough game right there. And another collecting goal for me was to get some more TurboGrafx-16 games. I managed to cross off Bonk's Adventure. Um, I really just wanted to get like one or two TurboGrafx games this year. This was the second one I picked up this year for my very small and growing TG-16 collection. Uh, you can see this beautiful box art of the man himself, Bonk, just bonking his head through some rubble. Um, yeah not the cleanest copy it looks beautiful because it's got the box protector uh but i got this for 70 dollars at a convention and it was a very good price i could not pass it up basically the seller was selling everything at price charting value and price charting has games listed as loose complete and sealed well there's like another layer of completeness for Turbo Graphics, and so he was listing this price as like the jewel case or whatever and the hue card and the manual without the cardboard box. Most people don't buy their Turbo Graphics games with the cardboard box because it's so much extra money. Um, I've decided I'm only going to buy them with the cardboard box, and so long story short, this guy had some very cheaply priced Turbo Graphics games. Um, among other things and I was really happy to add Bonk's Adventure I've been wanting to play that for a long time I need to get myself an EverDrive for that console because it is everything is so darn expensive but yeah this was the mascot for the Turbo Graphics, and I've really been wanting to play his game for sure so I'll be playing that one maybe after this video now everyone this is probably everyone's favorite pickup that I got in 2023 it was Pokemon Box Ruby and Sapphire for the Nintendo GameCube. What a freaking grail. What a freaking expensive piece of junk this is. This is $1,500 plus shipping. It came out to a $16.23 and 75 cents. Now, I made a whole video about it already, but basically, if you save up your credit card rewards for five or six years or however long it takes you, you can get this game for practically free just like I did um, I didn't actually technically spend $1,600 of my own money on this because I paid myself back with credit card rewards highly recommend doing that this is a beautiful CIB copy with all the inserts and the freaking stickers and all the nonsense I was not going for the cardboard box as I discussed in that video because Holy crap, that's another $1,500. Now these next two pickups are two of the coolest things I own now for sure. Number two on this list, I got myself a copy of Super Mario 64 complete in box. Already had one, it was a player's choice, kind of lame, super beat up, but it, whatever, it was in the collection. But I knew that my man Charles Martinet was gonna be at a convention this year and I wasn't going to have him sign my beat up player's choice copy so I got myself a clean non-player's choice copy and I got him to sign it at the convention this year and here it is in all of its glory it says super Christian Yuta superstar your pal Charles Mar or your pal Mario Charles Martinet and we got an extra woohoo up there truly a beautiful and vibrant cover um 
highly highly recommend talking to Charles Martinet if you ever get the chance if he's ever in your area he's just such a nice and authentic guy but uh, this game cost me 156 um, and then the signature which was I think like $80 maybe a hundred dollars it's a little crazy he's pretty much up there as far as signatures go though so if you're gonna get something signed you know it would be him as far as voice actors go he's pretty freaking important so I'm very happy to have that that'll be in the collection forever very very excited I need to have it on display somewhere honestly maybe figure out how to get that framed I don't know and then finally number one this is one of the coolest things that I own for sure it is another Rayman game it doesn't even feel like I picked it up this year but I did and here it is in all of its glory wasn't sure I was ever gonna own it the Rayman 2 PlayStation bundle with the free watch inside. Talk about a children's toy to be excited about, man. This game, if you don't know, comes with multiple variants across all consoles. On the PlayStation alone, you've got this variant and you can also get it with a beach bundle. They're both incredibly rare and they're both going to cost you a lot of money unless you wait for the right time because I got this for $30 I kid you not um, with the watch and the big box the game itself was missing so I guess they felt like it was kind of worthless without the game I don't know but this was just the watch just the cardboard box and I stuck my own copy of the game in it and it was $30 with the shipping with the fees all the nonsense Holy crap, What this is the definition of a grail right here. This is something that I have been wanting for so long, and I'm so happy to finally have it. Um, it's upside down on the back, which I think is hilarious, because when you flip it over this way, you get the game. Um, but yeah, this is truly one of the coolest and rarest things that I own. I am so happy to finally have this piece of junk um, the watch is not still ticking. The batteries have probably corroded the watch. I should look into that. Um, keep an eye out for this if you're a Rayman collector like I am. Very happy to have this. Get your safe search going because that's the only way you're going to get it for under several hundred dollars. But yeah, those are my top 10 personal favorite pickups of the year. Let me know what some of your best pickups were this year in the comments below. Don't forget to join the Discord. Thank you to all the channel members and I hope that you guys have a very happy new year this year. I will see you guys in 2024.